hyped for this Valentine's show. I was like, I'm going to get up and I'm going to talk about all the horrible single jokes I can. And then two weeks ago, I got a boyfriend. Woo! Hey! Yeah. yeah. He's great. He's fantastic. He's not here tonight, but I promise he's real. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I obviously can't make those jokes about being single anymore. And I haven't been dating him long enough to have any fun dating stories, and I don't want to embarrass him this early on. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been great. Um, so I started thinking of other horrible, horrible dating experiences I've had. And then I remember, I went to high school. <laughs> so one of the worst high school dates I ever went on was my senior prom. No, not prom, it was homecoming. It was homecoming. So my boyfriend didn't ask me because we weren't technically official. So it was the day before homecoming and it finally hit me. No one's gonna ask me, huh? So I turned to this guy next to me in my sci-fi fantasy class and I said, hey, do you wanna go to homecoming with me tomorrow? And he goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> so he went to his theater class told the entire theater class, he was like, well, uh, Camille just asked me to homecoming, so uh, I think she's in love with me. And everyone just looked at him and said, Camille, a girl asked you to a boy's choice dance that is tomorrow, and you think she's in love with you. Well, yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? Sure, sure. So we went. Um, I was having a pretty okay time. It was fine. Um, so we were driving home. My best friend was driving. I was in the back seat with this guy. And I was like, dang, it sure is cold. And he goes, I think it's hot because you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, I almost jumped out of the car and into oncoming traffic. <laughs> but my best friend, who was driving, actually reached over and locked the door. <laughs> she knew what I was thinking. She knew. Same wavelength as me and that woman. Uh, so that, I don't want to say that was the worst dance I went to in high school, but that was the worst dance I went to in high school. It was closely followed by my junior homecoming. Um, the dance itself wasn't bad. It was the aftermath that was bad. So this guy I really, really liked asked me to homecoming, and I was so excited. So we were at homecoming, we were having a great time, and he kissed me. And I was so excited, because you know, normally when you kiss someone, that means you like them, and you want to like take things to the next level. So I was really excited. So the next week, I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna be cool about this. I'm just, we are going to have a very mature, responsible conversation about this, and we're gonna be dating by lunchtime, it's great. So I walked up to him and I said, hey, why'd you kiss me? Needless to say, that's not how I planned on going about it, but okay. So he looks at me, and with all the sincerity in his voice, he says, Well, you've just always been such a great friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to thank you. <laughs> the saddest part of that story is that I proceeded to date him for two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like I said, things are starting to look up. I've got a boyfriend. I absolutely adore him. And Woo! I can honestly say that my dating life is going a lot better now than it was Woo! when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs>